on today's episode why these barbecue lighters don't work. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. It's late summer and like millions of people worldwide, I use one of these regularly to light my propane grill. Now this is probably one of a half dozen or so that I own courtesy of my local dollar store and they all have one thing in common, they don't work well. Now, an impromptu straw poll of my friends and family confirms that whether you pay top dollar for these things or buy them at a gas station or discount store, they all perform poorly. And the reason has nothing to do with quality control or Chinese production or government safety regulations. It's engineered into the product. So here's how these things work. Inside the lighter is a piezoelectric material, a ceramic wafer made from lead zirconate titanate, usually abbreviated as PCT. It's a ceramic perovskite for you materials guys. It was developed in 1952 at the Tokyo Institute of Technology. Now the piezoelectric effect has been known for 150 years and it actually works in both directions, both producing a potential of up to several thousand volts when the material is compressed, but also demonstrating strain when the potential is applied across the material. Now, a really practical use for this property is in the fuel injectors used in modern direct injection diesel engines, as well as in things like ultrasonic transducers. So if they work in these critical applications, why are they so lousy at starting my grill? Well, it turns out that inducing a spark to jump a gap is actually a very poor way to ignite any air fuel mixture. Automotive engineers discovered this in the 1970s when they attempted to ignite leaner air fuel mixtures to reduce emissions. Twin spark plugs were tried, but the only really effective solution was something called stratified charge. Now Honda put this in production, calling it CVCC, and it used a brilliantly simple strategy. The spark plug ignited a relatively rich fuel mixture in a pre-combustion chamber, and the flame front from that fire ignited the weaker main charge. Now it turns out that flame is a far better way to ignite an air fuel mixture than spark, which is why a match never fails to instantly light a grill when the spark lighter fails. So is there anything you can do about it? Well, there are a few things. First of all, check the fuel level inside the lighter. It's butane under pressure and you should see a liquid level through that little window. The other thing you can do is encourage the vaporization of that butane to create gas. Now warming it in your hands helps. And finally, remember that this is a spark ignition device and anything that provides an alternate current path between the electrodes will weaken or kill the spark. So don't leave this thing in the rain or use this 200 year old technology, the Strike Anywhere match, because they always work. Well, that's it for today's episode of End of the Line, brought to you by engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.